Well, just a uh, brief demonstration on how to install Rilo um, 4 on uh, Windows 8, the uh, latest iteration of Windows and uh, the latest iteration of the Rilo installer is Beta 3. Uh, we're using a Windows 8 test um, instance here to do the installation. First thing I would do is try to find control panel and in Windows 8 the way you work that um, is just uh, starting to type control panel because we need to install IIS first so we need to find the uh, programs and features area. We're going to turn uh, the IIS features on so we're going to find the uh, web server here, Internet Information Services and we're going to make a check mark there and make sure that we have the management console as well. We're going to take whatever default is and then say OK here for a second so that the uh, IIS web server can be installed. Once our IIS finished installing, uh, we want to probably verify that it's there. Uh, we're going to use the local host uh, reference here and see whether we can get uh, something. Here's IIS 8. That's one fantastic. So uh, another thing that we want to do is actually start um, adding a second site. And for that, we're going to designate a slightly different location on our computer. And uh, we're doing that in uh, preparation to actually create a development environment. So new folder. We're going to call that one sites. And we're going to say new folder second site. In order for all this to work, we also will add a reference to our host lookup. Oops, sorry, I forgot system 32. And we're going to see whether we can open that with notepad and add and site dot local as our site. Wonderful. Uh, it looks like I didn't start the notepad with the right permissions, so I saved my host file on desktop and I'm going to replace it and provide the elevated permission. So that should do the trick for me. And let's see whether we can. All right. Okay, wonderful. So now that we have the host file changed, uh, we are going to start to install Rilo and uh, we're just going to start the installer this way and say yes to the elevated permissions. And we're going to say accept agreement, provide the information pretty much as defaulted, and hit next a whole bunch of times and then just wait. As you might have noticed, the recording is uh, paused sometimes because I don't want to um, reflect all the wait time here, but we just have to wait a few minutes until the installation completes. Once the um, installation completes, the Rilo service would be, will be started automatically, and we are just waiting on that particular step. Installation is now finished, and it will uh, now be prompted. We will now be prompted to open the welcome screen. We are going to accept it. And this is actually showing us that the Tomcat instance is running. Now the question is whether we get a response from IIS uh, when we remove the port for the Tomcat. And it should actually look very similar, except for the style sheet should be gone. And um, that's really what we're waiting on right now for the initial initialization of the uh, service. Wonderful. Everything seems to be working. Um, and if we... Uh, go through here, Rilo Web Administrator. That should start the Rilo Web Administration portal. I guess the password didn't quite make it. That's 
so we post that in there and we'll see that Rilo is running. Now let's see whether we can drop in some code into our site and have it pull up. And uh, the way it works currently is you can use any site except for localhost in uh, order to make that happen. In, in our case, we will uh, re uh, reference the second site that we've created as the site to use. So we're going to go back to our control panel, find our IS administration area, and fin finalize the creation of the second site that we started earlier. This is really the site I'm going to use for development. And uh, we're going to do that real quickly here by going in here, say add a website. And we're going to call that second site. Um, we're going to point it to the area that I have here. And the host name is going to be second site.local. And we're going to say OK. And wonderful, it started up automatically. Let's drop in some code into that folder. Sites, second site. Let's create something new. We'll start as a text document and we'll change that in a second. Index.cfm text for now. And we're going to say CF output. And now to output the current time on the server. Save this and rename, remove the text extension so the server can pick it up. So in our case, second site.local uh, should, oops, I did everything right. Sorry, it looks like I have to provide the HTTP in front of it, so we'll just do that. And as you see, our code will be picked up after the uh, few seconds from um, Rilo. What happened here is the first request went in, and uh, the uh, mode CFM uh, FML project picked up that we had a second site. I didn't have to worry about configuration of the server XML and TopCut or anything. I can just continue dropping on sites, uh, dropping on files into the site and they should continue developing as usual. That's really all there is to it. Most of it is waiting. Currently the Beta 3 installer will uh, not quite work out of the box for Windows 2012 server, but it works out of the box for Windows 8 desktop. Uh, feel free experimenting. Have fun.